I'm in Farhan's Tesla Model 3 and we're now heading to Southeast Asia's first 350 kilowatt DC fast charger here in X Park Sunway. You can see the huge logo and signage above. It's a Gentari charger and they partner with Jome Charge. So we have the whole station to ourselves. The fast charging stations and stalls, actually the ones here on the left. So you can see the three bays with 350 kilowatt DC chargers. You see another Tesla coming in here to charge as well. Very excited because I've never been to a charger that's faster than a supercharger before. How many times have you been here already, Farhan? This is my second time. I've tested my Kia EV6 and it got 235 kilowatt from this. This is pretty epic. Farhan's going to charge his car and let's take a look at the charging speed. And I'll be behind the camera. How does this work? Do you just use the uh, Jome Charge app? So you can use Jome Charge app. For Singaporean, you've got to use Jome Charge app. Uh, because uh, settled uh, currently does not accept uh, foreign credit card. So the second one that you can use is the Petronas Settle app. Uh, so I think because my Tesla is recognized to be plug and charge. So let's see. It's very light because it's liquid cool. Okay, so it has asking for authentication. It works in the Settle app and it's now preparing to charge. So it's 1.30 already. You can see it's right now about 137 kilowatts. What's the nuance here? So the charging speed isn't constant throughout the entire state of charge. It depends on a few factors. Yeah. What's your experience, Fahan? It depends on the voltage pack of your battery, which is for the Tesla is 400 volt. So this charger has about 500 amp DC current. So theoretically, at a very low state of charge, Tesla Model 3 long range should be able to actually go to 200 kilowatt. And also the temperature of the battery is also another factor. So you can see now it's at 127 and see I'm gonna I, I'm interested to see what's the peak of this later. Usually for Teslas, especially in countries where there is map support, supercharger network support, Tesla would precondition your batteries, heat them up to prime them for charging. Right now, because Tesla's batteries are not preconditioned, it wouldn't charge at the highest possible charging speed. But let's see how it goes in the next few minutes. I'm here at Afik, another Tesla Model 3 owner who just got his Tesla recently. Afik, can you tell the audience a little bit more about yourself? Hi, uh, I'm Afik. I've been owning my Tesla since um, back in May. So it's around five months. So it's been a very pleasant journey so far. Is this your first EV? Yes, this, uh, this is my first EV. Before this, uh, I have a few uh, PHEV. Um, I'm upgrading from NX5. So I'm more or less quite familiar with the charging, uh, plug-in charging. I have a wall box charger at home, so it's, I can use back my, my old charger. So home charger is not a problem for me. Congratulations on your first EV and a Tesla to boot. A few years ago, you asked most Malaysians, okay. finding public EV chargers, that's like a, very hard to find, like mm -hmm. finding a unicorn. We're now here at Southeast Asia's fastest EV charger, 350 kilowatt DC charging. Of course, not all cars are charged up to that, but this is a powerful signal that the infrastructure is being developed. Yes. A lot of people say they have this perception, quite less chair, right? Getting EV, you got to find chargers. How's your personal experience so far? Um, as for me, I own a Tesla long range model. So range anxiety is not a problem for me. I can travel from KL to Malacca and back without even charging. Um, but as time goes by, the infrastructure is getting better and better. As you can see from KL to Johor, there are many, many places for charging. So, range anxiety 
it's not a problem for Malaysia in, in 2022. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. And it's good meeting you here today. Nice meeting you too as well. Thank you, brother. As we're waiting for your Model 3 to charge, can you give us a walkthrough of this EV charging station, please? I believe there's some very unique points about this place. This is a view from customer. Eh? Uh, I'm actually very happy when uh, the, uh, the CTO that is backed by uh, Petronas, which is known as Jemtari, uh, with collaboration of Jom Charge or EV Connection, have actually gotten uh, and set up this first EV charging hub that we were made to know that's going to be the first EV charging hub that would be selling the electricity in kilowatt hour. So if you can see, uh, the stand base over here, the first uh, three base is reserved for the 350 kilowatt DC. This is the first 350 kilowatt, not only in Malaysia, but it's in the Southeast Asia. So the, the unique thing about this is the two, uh, uh, the, the 350 kilowatt consists of two dispenser and it has a dynamic loading capability, meaning to say that it would actually uh, provide uh, the power and distribute it, distribute it to two cars depending on the, the requirement of the car. So that's an interesting feature that we have over here. I also heard that it's still free for the next two to three days before official opening. Yeah, official opening is on the 14th or 15th. After that, it will be, you would have to refer to the Jom Charge app or the Settle app to know what's the pricing. So this is the 350 kilowatt. Then you move here, you have the 180 kilowatt uh, DC charger. You can see similar unit and share recharge or at Pedas Linggi, share recharge is, uh, you, you can see this at Angka, Simpang Pulai. And then uh, you have one in uh, Pedas Linggi and Gambang. This is the, exactly the same unit, the 180 kilowatt. And interestingly, because this place is where you have the go-kart Xbox uh, internal, uh, in, uh, in, internal go-kart uh, track, you can actually have uh, your go-karting session while waiting for your car to be charged using this 5 AC charger. Fun fact, uh, the, the picture of the gentleman <laughs> behind there, that's my cousin, <laughs> Alex Yong. It's a very, very small world. So we've got 5 22 kilowatt AC chargers. Yeah, AC and Omni price much cheaper than DC, yes? Yeah. So you have 5, uh, you have facilities inside here, even you have cafes, uh, which means that you can actually charge your car and actually do something else over here. So pretty excited as a user because this is the first kilowatt hour station. I think the promotional rate they are, they are giving, if you charge using this 180 kilowatt, it's one ringgit per kilowatt. It's a promotional rate. Again, it's a promotional rate. The one with 350, you're gonna get, uh, you're gonna have to pay 120 per kilowatt hour during this promotional period. Very cool to see the progress of EV charging infrastructure in Malaysia. This is only the beginning. This is the first yeah. of many kilowatt hour charging stations coming to the country. We started charging 14 minutes ago. We were at 39% state of charge. Right now, we're at 69% state of charge. All done here with uh, about 100 kilowatt charging speed. Not bad at all. So at 24 kilowatt, so if you times uh, 120, that's gonna cost me about 28 ringgit. Imagine you bring a car here that's pre-conditioned, primed to charge at 350 kilowatts. You'll be done from Big Fast Experience. 20 to 80 percent state of charge with the Kia EV6 yeah. in around 16, 14 minutes. 14 minutes. We hope you enjoyed this look at Malaysia's first 350 kilowatt DC fast charger. It's also the first in Southeast Asia. Please come visit. If you've been here before, let us know down in the comments how you find it. If you found this video useful, please click the like button. Hit subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla.